Good morning, traders. Welcome to the Stock Market Morning Prep video for Tuesday, October 20th. Yesterday, we had a pause day at the upper end of the range into some big resistance. I'm going to show that to you on the charts. We're up, we're up now 12 out of 14 days. Kind of crazy. Uh, all of a sudden, you know, they, they hit the lights on and everybody wants to buy stocks. 14 days ago, you couldn't buy a stock. So that being said, uh, you know, this is the market that we're dealt with. Um, are they raising rates? They're not raising rates. Good news is bad news. Good news is good news. So this is everything that you have to digest as a trader uh, in these in these type of market conditions. But we're going to kind of go through these indexes and see where we are. Remember, let's talk about seasonal trends right now. At the moment, October is notorious for uh, volatility, down days, up days. Uh, but usually, we mark a turnaround and we start rallying. Now, we've already had this rally for the last two weeks straight up. I think we had two down days out of 14 trading days. Uh, so that, that, that's, that's pretty stretch. And I think that the rubber band eventually, um, the markets are going to at least pull down and at least sell off at least one more time. Um, I am looking for uh, that Santa Claus rally. And I'm hoping that it hasn't started yet. And I'll tell you why. Because when you get into an early rally, you're going to get a, a, a pretty decent sell-off. So I would have liked to see some weakness this week. We've had options expiration last week, and, and I've mentioned to you many times, we, have an, we usually have an interim low, a Thursday, Friday low prior to that options expiration. Then we rally into that, and that's exactly what we had the week before, um, uh, the monthly options expiration. Thursday, rip your face off rally. Friday, the same thing, uh, and Monday was a pause day. Now, Monday... You can't look at it as bearish because it really isn't. It's just a pause uh, looking for higher prices. I would love to see the markets pull back a little bit in order for us to uh, buy at a, at a decent area. Risk-reward, to me, um, would be better at lower prices in order to buy. But if you're day trading and you look for something and you see a spot to buy, then absolutely I'd be looking to, uh, to buy into that. Would I be short right now? Um, you know, in the longer term picture, I wouldn't mind having a little short in the book, but, um, you know, just keep that in mind. You know, we're going into some seasonal strength. Transports actually come real good. Technology has been really doing well. Banks have been lagging. I'm going to show that to you. Banks have been lagging. They have not done well. Morgan Stanley reported earnings really not that great. And actually, speaking of earnings, Q3 earnings have been really dismal. Has not been good, other side from some key reports, but really has not been good. And that is really what's concerning me, because if, if, if we're running on earnings and the Fed doesn't know what to do, more likely they're going to raise rates than not raise rates. And then now we have Q3 earnings. I mean, you really could pull the rug out of the market here. So uh, I'm a little skeptical. I am very skeptical on this rally. Uh, not that I'm not looking to stick with the trend, but I'm just skeptical, reducing my exposure to the long side and if I am trading it I'm trading it long with lesser shares and less contracts if you're trading futures because it's just something's not right here Every, uh, the markets are just not in line with each other um, internals are saying a different picture McClellan Osley as you can see here we're overbought we did pull back because we've paused but you know we we could just pop up one more time and really get that one one rally into that heavy resistance which let me show you now while I'm we're at it um, let's just move aside here Easily 204, which is 2040 in the S&P, um, is we're right there. Uh, so this could either pop and then fail, like something like here when Janet Yellen was speaking. We rallied up and then failed, and we had that big sell-off again. Uh, that's that's concerning to me here. We're coming at some very heavy resistance, and we're not too far away. I mean, we're literally uh, in the spiders. You know, you you figure a, a point, you know, maybe a point and a quarter away. Which we can ha that could happen today and then fail. So keep your pallets dry if you are looking for a short entry. Uh, this is a good spot to get short. 61.8 percent retracement now. We've already blown through that from the uh, from the high to low. Uh, so this is a good spot where I'm looking to get short the market here. Okay, back to the XLF. You can see here we have done nothing, guys, since August. We have gone sideways, and if you really look at it, we've gone really nothing here at all in 2015. We're really in a sideways channel. We sold off very hard here in that August 24th uh, flash crash. And now we're back up into uh, kind of digesting what the move is. I do like the banks. I really do. But it really has to prove it to me first before we look to nibble into the bank sector. All right, now let's go into the other sectors here. Uh, let's go into the other uh, indices. Excuse me. IWM Russell. This is not a good sign. Uh, this is something that one of our leaders is lagging. 
okay, uh, and not looking great. Yes, we did get above the uh, downtrend line, okay, and we are holding true, but we're in this cluster, and look at where the S&P rallied at 61.8% retracement. We're, we're not even at a 38.2% Fibonacci retracement here. Not good. This is not a pretty sight, okay, so just keep that in mind. Let's look at the uh, transports, our, deemed our leader. And our leader hasn't even gotten above the 200-day moving average. Well, most of the indices have not, except the uh, the uh, the trans uh, excuse me the technology sector, the Qs, which I'll show you. But you can see here, not a good sign here, guys. This is not pretty. Okay, now technology is uh, excuse me, tech, uh, transports are coming into seasonal strength here, so we could easily start to rally off this 50-day moving average. But we need to really get above the 200 in order for us to start breaking out and rallying. If that does happen, I think we get a change in sentiment of the market. Okay. Diamonds. Now, again, at its 200, it rallied at this uh, above its 61.8% retracement, but it's a lagger. Okay, this is a lagger of the five indices that we follow. So, really not of, of importance, but it does, again, all of the investors in retail, they do follow the Dow Jones, so it does look great that while we've rallied, but again, we are below the 200 day moving average. And lastly is the Qs, as you can see, back above it. It is the strongest all of 2014 and so far of 2015. Okay, keep an eye on the technology sector. Technology, they come into some uh, spending. They start spending dollars um, uh, for, uh, for, their, uh, for their technology itself. And that puts a big bid into technology. And also you, come, you have the uh, Christmas holidays, which technology and gadgets are the number one thing. Um, our consumers buy so if technology starts to continue to rise this is going to definitely help out but you know banks weak Russell weak transports weak earnings weak I mean what is going to uh, uh, you know turn this market and really get into some uh, realization that you know we shouldn't be at these levels now again as a trader it's not what what we think, right? It's what the markets are reacting to. That's what we react to. So we, we're going to stick to the trend. The trend is right now up, um, up, you know, 12 out of 14 days. I'm not going to look to short it until I get some signals, but I'm watching. I'm looking to um, uh, look to get short, but I want to see some more, uh, some more evidence that the market is indeed going to uh, move lower again, okay? Hope that helps everybody. Uh, use your stops, please. Markets are crazy right now. And let's see what happens if we get a little bit of weakness going into the last week of October, which we usually get a really big rally starting uh, the end of October, first week of November. Take care, everybody.